I know I talk about serious shit sometimes, and it's like, I don't mean to be a bummer or whatever, but I feel like I hate being the person at the cocktail party where everybody's talking about their great summer vacations and they're little, and like all I'm like, oh yeah, my dad got really drunk and like he forgot to buy Christmas presents. And like, you know what I mean? It's like all my stories, like I imagine my dad's, if they asked me to speak at his funeral, which I won't go to anyway, but it's like, it's like, I'm like, what all the stories that me and my sister would tell would be like, start out really fun, and then it's like, and then we were four wheeling in a Jeep with no seatbelts on and my dad was totally drunk it's like not a good ending right but like those of us who have all of those experiences and stuff we shouldn't have to like hide in the corner and try to make our lives into some sunny fucking rainbow <laughs> true and i guess i wanted to say that because that last song uh about like getting rid of people who told me like my dad or like certain friends told me that I was a piece of shit and couldn't do anything. Not to make a pity party for myself, it's real. It's like, I, I'm standing here now and I'm singing and you guys are all like watching and I feel totally supported and loved and like, So you did something really nice tonight. Here's the thing. Hold on one second. It's like, I'm the oldest person in this band by a month and a half, so nothing wins, but we're all close to our 40s at least. I'm 47, she's a little younger, whatever, whatever. <laughs> it meant so much to us that we were on the College Media Journal's number one album for this week. sounds ridiculous, but we've all been plugging along for so many fucking years and doing different projects and doing things and the fact that college, radio, whatever, it just meant a lot. They're finally playing our records. It meant a fucking lot. Cheers, it really meant a lot. It really meant a lot. I've been doing this for 30 years, I don't know if I've even been in this yeah. same change. No, Kathleen was always like, I don't know, people like my stuff after it already came out, like, by 10 years, and I was like, well, I was on the Latif Brew record, or, like, not on it. I, like, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get lost in all that. Uh, I love, uh, love Bikini Kill, obviously, love the big, early Bikini, early Latif, uh, we met in the middle of Latif Brew. Uh, keep plugging on, because in your 40s, you can still fucking do things.